Welcome to my YouTube channel Medical Knowledge where learning medicine makes sense. In this video I will discuss about convalescent plasma therapy. Convalescent plasma therapy is an experimental treatment therapy and recently United States Food and Drug Administration has issued emergency use authorization as a potential COVID-19 treatment. Convalescent plasma therapy may be helpful for people with COVID-19 who aren't helped by other treatments. In order to know what convalescent plasma therapy is, it is important to know how our body fights against infection. The blood which runs inside blood vessels has red blood cell, platelets, WBC and plasma. When cells are removed from blood, the remaining fluid is called plasma. Plasma constitutes 55% of blood volume, platelet and WBC constitute 1% and RBC constitute 44% of total blood volume. 90% of plasma is water. Plasma also contains minerals, hormone, antibody and metabolic waste. Plasma functions to suspend blood cell and transport it. It carries the nutrients and metabolic waste. Circulates hormone and antibodies. Plasma maintains water content body temperature and acid base balance. The white blood cells fight against infection whereas plated help prevent bleeding. Red blood cells carry oxygen. Microorganisms like viruses, bacteria have a protein on their surface which acts as an antigen. In case of SARS-CoV-2 which causes COVID-19, the proteins are spike glycoprotein, membrane protein, nucleoprotein, hemagglutin esterase and enveloped small cell membrane protein. Out of these, spike glycoprotein is found to have most antigenic property and all vaccine and treatment are targeted against this glycoprotein. When WBC comes in contact with pathogens inside our body, they think the pathogen is outsider or noxious agent against the body and produce a protein called antibody. Beta lymphocyte in particular produces the antibody. In the beginning, pathogens and antibody roam freely in the blood. Then, the antibody binds to the pathogen and can do so in different formations like opsonization, neutralization and agglutination. A phagocyte approaches the pathogen and binds by attaching to receptors. The phagocyte inhales the pathogen and the phagocytosis occurs as the pathogen is ingested. In this manner, an infectious agent is removed from our body and a person becomes healthy again, known as recovered. The plasma of a recovered person is now called convalescent plasma. When a WBC comes in contact with pathogen, it takes some time to produce antibody. In the meantime, if the disease progresses, it may damage the body system. In case of COVID-19, Acute respiratory distress syndrome can occur. It is a severe lung condition. These patients often require mechanical assistance, such as ventilator to breathe. The people are in danger of developing organ failure. Acute respiratory distress syndrome is the main cause of death in COVID-19 patients. In convalescent plasma therapy, blood from a healthy recovered person is drained and processed to make a plasma. Then the convalescent plasma is given to a sick COVID-19 patient. Convalescent plasma therapy may be helpful for people with COVID-19 who aren't helped by other treatments. This therapy could prevent people with chronic medical conditions like heart disease or diabetes or those with weakened immune system from getting sicker if they get COVID-19. Convalescent plasma therapy carries the risks of allergic reaction, lung damage and difficulty breathing and transmission of infections like HIV, Hepatitis B and C. The medical society over the world is gathering the evidences and its history in use against treating Ebola, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome and other influenza and measles with some success focuses the light of hope in treatment against COVID-19. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then please do subscribe to the channel.